Well, many of our existing customers know Mercury as a computer company, and we're still very much the, uh, the leader for high-performance embedded sensor processing. However, we're actually much more than that today. You know, we're the only commercial item company that we know of in the defense electronics industry that can truly provide open and standards-based end-to-end sensor processing solutions. So we changed our name, effectively dropping the word computer, as it was really limiting the way in which our customers thought about Mercury and its capabilities. However, what hasn't changed is both our commitment to innovation as well as to our customers themselves. Mercury is best known for developing innovative technology solutions to solve tough customer problems. We call that innovation that matters. We typically spend 20% of our revenues annually on research and development. And over the past five years, we've spent over $250 million refreshing our entire product portfolio. At the same time, we've introduced game-changing innovations. We were the first in the industry to truly commit to open standards with the development of OpenVPX, which has since become widely adopted. We pioneered and are the leader in taking high-performance silicon, such as Intel server class devices and GPUs, and applying them into embedded sensor processing applications. Recently, we also developed a state-of-the-art cooling and packaging technology called Airflowby, which hands down is the best in the industry. It dramatically improves both the performance and the reliability of embedded processing. Our customers are telling us also that we're actually the leader in integrated security and are significantly ahead of the competition. This security capability is key in foreign military sales applications, which as you know is rapidly becoming an important area of growth within the defense industry. Finally, we have the industry's most advanced open middleware that allows our customers to rapidly port their classified applications onto our systems. Yeah, we've substantially increased uh, the scope of our products and solutions offerings, both organically and through acquisition. Yeah, as I mentioned, over the past five years, we've actually spent over $250 million on new product development. We've also spent over $150 million on acquisitions, particularly in the RF and the microwave dimension. We did this to provide our customers with end-to-end -end sensor processing solutions for radar, electronic warfare, electro-optical infrared, and communications. Historically, Mercury provided one element of the sensor processing chain, advanced signal processing. Today, we also provide advanced RF and microwave components, multifunction assemblies, as well as complete RF subsystems. We have industry-leading FPGA-based near-sensor processing solutions. We've developed state-of-the-art analog-to-digital and digital-to-analog converters for radar and electronic warfare. We produce dense digital storage subsystems and data recorders. We've pioneered onboard exploitation systems that can dramatically shorten the time to actionable intelligence in airborne video surveillance, as an example. Finally, we have completed the sensor processing chain with a range of software-defined transceiver subsystems. Well, several years ago, uh, we anticipated two major trends within the defense industry. First, slower defense spending, and second, defense procurement reform. We believe these trends would cause our defense prime customers to actually outsource more work to commercial companies like Mercury. Slower defense spending is causing the degree of competition in the industry to go up for both new business as well as recompetes. The DOD is also demanding lower risk and more affordable platform upgrade solutions. At the same time, defense procurement reform is moving contract awards from cost plus to firm fixed price. And as a result, many of our customers have initiated ongoing restructuring activities, including closures, and layoffs. Ultimately, they're all seeking a more variable operating cost model. Many of our customers are also simultaneously cutting back on their own R&D spend, 
at a time when they need earlier access to more advanced technologies to address the challenges posed by more sophisticated adversaries. One, which, one way in which they're dealing with these issues is by outsourcing more of the sensor processing subsystem development work to commercial companies such as Mercury that have an inherent technological cost and time to market advantage. Over the past several years, we have moved Mercury from a product-oriented company to a services-led solutions business and trusted outsourcing partner to the Defence Primes. Well, Mercury's doing work with most of the large Defence Prime contractors and we're deployed on some of our nation's most important military platforms, such as the F-16, the F-15, the F-22 and the F-35 in the fighter domain. We're at the heart of ballistic missile defense on programs such as Patriot and Aegis. And we're involved on key unmanned aerial vehicles such as Predator, Reaper, and Global Hawk. We're also involved on key naval programs such as the E2D Hawkeye, the PA Poseidon, and SeaWhip, which is the Naval Surface Fleet Electronic Warfare Improvement Program. Well, I'd like to close by saying that we're not the Mercury computer systems of old. Today, we have end-to-end -end capabilities to build today's sophisticated sensor processing solutions, particularly as our customers are seeking a trusted outsourcing partner. In RF and microwave, we believe that we are the better alternative. We're investing significantly in advanced RF and microwave components and subsystems and world-class scalable microelectronics manufacturing. We have some of the best and brightest RF engineers in the industry. We're more affordable than some of our competitors and I know that we try harder. In embedded processing, we have a world-class contemporary product portfolio. Advanced open and standards-based middleware that is second to none and industry-leading packaging and security. So we look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thanks very much for listening.